Welcome to Storage TV. The TV show all about storage. This week we're at National Mini Storage. Come on in, let's find out more. Well, I'm here with Ailsa and we're outside box five. Okay. <laughs> well, you're back with Storage TV and I'm here with Ailsa and we're outside locker number 568. Let's have a look inside and see what's going on here. What's going on in here? Well, my brother passed away and a lot of his furniture got put in there. The family home got cleared out, so we popped it in storage for a little while just to be properly sorted out. Oh, it's very easy because it's nice and close to where I live, and so I can just pop down here anytime and get something I want. Hey, oh. Glenn, I'm a stuntman, you're a stuntman, but what is the benefits of having a lock like this? Oh, well, I mean, I get to kind of store the stuff that I don't get to have around the house, and especially weapons and, and things like that, I don't want to store at home. It's kind of secure and safe, and so no one's going to steal my stuff again. This is what we'd probably call the Hazentaha, which is the Japanese lance. Um, actually, no, that's a, a yari, but that one in particular is a, is a Chinese wushu spear. The wushu spear, or, yeah. or you could call it that, I suppose. That's also definitely a wushu spear. And your hangishi um, swords there, and your, your, you've got the Brother 2000 up there, the, the photocopier slash um, printer. Yeah, um, it's a good, good printer. Yeah. You've got a storage locker! you got a storage locker! Coming up on Storage TV, I meet a lady who's hoping to get back into hockey, we meet a guy who's storing a car, and a guy who stores paint. That's on Storage TV. I'm here with Jesse and Gavin, smooth movers. Fellas, talk us through it. Basically, you get stuff out of the truck there, people's lives, you're putting in there, you're moving in and out. Must be sort of uh, pretty interesting. Yeah, you try to take as much care as possible at all times, and I mean, it's a good facility to work at, good lifts. Good security, everything. Hey, you must have moved some pretty interesting stuff in, in, in your day. Uh, yeah, I'd say for sure. i um, been doing this a number of years now, and uh, yeah, I remember one time a lady said, uh, yeah, please be careful with that box. My husband's in there, and, and it was his ashes. And uh, it was like, wow. So, uh, so he was dead, his ashes? Uh, his ashes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So Glenn, you're obviously on Storage TV here, and you've got these here, these um, your boards obviously for breaking, that kind of stuff. That's um, it's my computer desk. It's a computer desk, straight. Okay. Yeah, obviously, but you know, you could you could smash that up, couldn't you? Yeah, I guess so. If if I wanted to, but then then I'd have to get a new one. That's a computer desk. That's a computer desk. That's a computer desk. I, yeah. I get that. We know that. You know, we're not idiots. Well, that's clearly a computer desk, and this is all the other other crap in here. Lindsay, if I was a betting man, I'd say you're probably a professional painter, fisherman, and probably a professional saxophone player. Yes, that's right. Do you store yes. a lot of your paints and equipment obviously here? You yes. come and get it? Is it like yes. a regular thing? So once a week at least, sometimes twice a week, I'll come and pick it up. And it's a good location right at the turn off of the motorway, and then where I'm working at the moment out Swanson, it's quite handy for picking up stuff for that. How are you doing over there? Doing a workshop. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah. If you've done it, fine, go for it. Good idea. Yeah, Thanks. I've got the old stereo with the records there that I hope one day I'll be able to play again. And oh, rock and roll, what sort of yeah. stuff? Uh, I've got a lot of old stuff with Beatles. And Tell you what, can we run that footage of me playing piano again? There's a bit of rock and roll piano, check this out. <laughs> stuff the ending yeah. up there, obviously, but you know, normally I'd, the piano's a bit out of tune, but um, it's all here. I'm here with my old mate John. John, you're running for the old MX5. I've never met you before. No, it's more of a TV thing. You don't have to. It doesn't matter if we've met before. It's more familiarity. Oh, okay, okay. No. so it's basically, you know, my old mate John. Yep. But you know, it's kind of, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the MX5. Tell me about that. Yeah, it's got roll cage in it. It's got competition harnesses, special shock absorbers, and things. And I use it in all the auto crosses and hill climbs, and generally have fun. It's my toy. And I'm guessing it's the sort of toy you can't really store at home. Nah, you don't want to store it outside or anything. I need it garage, and I haven't got a garage. And keep this nice and dry here, and um, otherwise we'll be out in the weather. The audio looks fine. Should be on about. Should be about. What's she about? Uh, four point seven is she? Uh, capacitors? Are they all? 
kilojoules. It's got 1,800 motor on it. 1,800, obviously. I mean, I mean 1,800 litre. 1800 cc. CCs, obviously, but she'd be in like 1990. 1990. 1990. Yep. Running the, running the, uh, running the engine in the front there, obviously. Yep. Yep. And you'd, you'd obviously be chucking the fuel in from the right. Lift actually. Lift actually. Oh, in this one, you would, but you could, you could easily put the hose right over there if you wanted. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Yeah. It's um, good. All right. Thanks, John. All Fantastic. Right. All the best yeah. for that. Okay. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks, Corey. That's another episode of Storage TV right here at National Mini Storage. See you next week.